And our Baringo County Assembly member and two others will spend the night in police custody after being arrested for staging demonstrations against escalating banditry in the county. The demonstrations organized by the Kenya National Union of Teachers and Kenya Post-Primary Education Teachers Coopert saw teachers and residents march to the streets of Kabarnet Town to protest the killing of a school head teacher on Saturday last week. Thomas Kibet, a head teacher at Kagir Primary School in Baringo North, was killed early Saturday morning by bandits. <laughs> Wednesday, teachers and residents marched to the streets of Kabarnet Town, protesting the escalating incidents or calling for swift government action. <laughs> As demonstrators attempted entry into the county commissioner's office, Police lobbed tear gas to disperse the angry demonstrators who are accusing the county security team of laxity. From what we've seen, it is no longer banditry. Actually, it is terrorism. Yes. So we want to ask the president to really come forward and fight this thing once and, and for all. I want to ask and I want to plead to our president. Yes. Baringo County, I included. We voted you for only one reason, yes. Yes. to give us peace, yes. to give us security, yes. for guns to be silent. Yes. Yes. There is no development that will happen in Baringo. Yes. There is no road that we can use yes. because we are short. Yes. There is no house we can live even if you build them. The first initiative that the government of His Excellency Dr. William Ruto, whom we voted to the man yes. in the election, is to bring peace in Baringo. Yes. We've lost the fathers. Yes. We've lost the mothers. Yes. We've lost the children, yeah. we've lost the teachers, yeah. and we've lost the quite a number of people. They should be compensated. Following the confrontations, police arrested Barwesa MCA Joseph Lokorio and two others for participating in the demos. <laughs> And as police battled the demonstrators in Baringo North, there was yet another demonstration, this time in the neighboring Baringo South, as residents called on the government to demonstrate seriousness in handling banditry. Nine people have lost their lives in Baringo North at the hands of bandits in January.